He's the man behind the global anthem Jai Ho and has sold hundreds of millions of albums. And now AR Rahman is taking to the stage with sold out tour venues around the world. The Chennai born musician first started composing in a makeshift studio in his backyard, but he quickly became the leading name of Bollywood soundtracks. He grabbed international recognition with his tracks, the best picture winning Slumdog Millionaire, earning him a series of awards, including two Oscars. Named as one of Times' 100 most influential people, Rahman combines styles and cultures to deliver an eclectic array of songs, giving the world a universal beat. A.R. Rahman is your connector of the day. And earlier, Becky sat down with the legendary composer and began by asking him about his new tour. Yeah, full-blown production with Western talent, Eastern talent all together with a very different perspective of the music I've been doing for 18 years. We saw a bit of your concert in the profile that we did of you just earlier on, but let's take a quick look behind the scenes. CNN did some uh, filming at the recent rehearsal. <laughs> In, uh, in India uh, for a long time. Your fans include a number of our former uh, connectors, film sensations uh, in, in Bollywood. But in the last couple of years, you've really cracked it in the West. What is it, you think, about your music that resonates with people around the world? My music is mostly film music and it gives the um, liberty to do anything which I want and nobody limits me to one genre of music. But I learn from life and I try to give back to life in a way. Uh, whether it's the thought of the song or whether it's the approach to arrangement or anything. So it's uh, probably embracing everything which, which is good. Your award-winning breakthrough, of course, came with the music for Slumdog Millionaire in 2008. Let's just uh, have a little listen to that. Some dog millionaire there. Well, Sadiq has written to us and he says, uh, What do you enjoy more, scoring for film or privately composing? I enjoy both because uh, scoring for films gives an inspiration to write music immediately He's the most, man. most of the times. And when you're, you're private, you're just think, trying to have your own thoughts. And that's also good. So scoring for films makes me do more work. And <laughs> the output is, yeah, I get more out. <laughs> you don't mind that. You don't mind the hard work, evidently. Kira from New York uh, says, if you could redo the soundtrack of any classic film, either Hollywood or Bollywood, uh, which movie would it be and why? Well, my all-time favourite was Sound of Music those days, and still is. And um, I wouldn't like to re <laughs> redo it. It's perfect. I never think like that. <laughs> but would you now? <laughs> no. <laughs> there are much more things to be explored. Including a Bollywood version of The Sound of Music. All right. Um, Essan Mantur uh, says you became a household name with Slumdog Millionaire. Are you using that fame and money to uh, better the lives of people? Yeah, in my own way, I've got a foundation and then I've started a school and the school is trying to educate underprivileged kids into music and stuff so they can um, get into careers of music. So it's a slow kind of process, but it's slow and steady and with a lot of goodwill and love. Uh, you work with the great and the good of Bollywood, um, famous an industry famous for its egos. It's a question from Jay here. He asks, what is your secret of working with so many talented people and getting the best out of them, whatever their attitude? I think, first of all, they know they, they have a kind of respect for me, for my work and everything. And uh, so I just... Um, that's half the job done. <laughs>